Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the new tool called Point Color in Lightroom Classic. So let's get straight into the tutorial. Also, I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit off. I think it's either allergies or possibly a cold developing. So please bear with me. So we now have Lightroom Classic opened up. We have our photo or image here. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your Lightroom Classic updated to the most latest version. Now on the right hand side, you see the basic panel. We're just gonna scroll on down until we see point color. You're gonna see color mixer first. You're gonna see the mixer and that will have your uh, HSL sli uh, sliders, but we are only gonna mess with point color. So as you can see, I take my sample spot color tool, this tool right here, and we're just gonna go to any part in our image to sample that color. That we want to adjust or change or alter in some way basically what you can do with point color is you can adjust the hues uh as you see the sliders is it has a hue shift saturation shift illumination shift so with these three sliders within the point color you're able to adjust the hue saturation and luminance basically what the hsl panel does but we're not going to worry about these sliders for now. What we are going to focus on is the range slider, as you can see right here. And by default, the range slider is automatically set at 50. So if I drag the slider to the left, it reduces the range of colors being affected. And if I drag the slider to the right, it increases the range of colors being affected. So for now, I am going to decrease the range all the way to zero and then after that you're going to see underneath that it will say visualize range checkbox so i'm going to go ahead and check that the visualize range once after doing that you will now see any areas that are now in gray and desaturated won't be affected by the hue saturation and luminance However, any areas that are still in color will be. So I will need to reduce the range. As you can see, right where her lip is, is a little bit of pink color like it was on the wall. And I want to get rid of that because I don't want to change her lip color at all. I only would like to change the color of the wall itself and that's all. So in order to do that, I'm going to select this arrow right here on the right hand side of range and it's actually a drop down arrow and now i have access to all of these other things such as hue range saturation range and luminance range so as you can see there is still pink on her lip that i would like to remove so in order to do that i need to reduce the range more so i'm going to do that by adjusting the hue range i'm going to reduce the range of colors by dragging the marker inward and now notice how this part has also now become desaturated now her lip is totally gray so it is no longer pink meaning i'm not going to be affecting the change of color or the range of color excuse me on her lips only the wall as i had intended now now that this is done i will turn off the visualize range box now at this point i'm able to use the hue saturation and luminance sliders to alter how I would like the color of the wall to be without changing or altering any other color within the image, all thanks to point color. Now I would like to go over a few things before we go over to our second next example. So first of all, I would like to mention that notice the original color is on the left and whatever changes you made are on the right. Also something to note is that you can click and drag or you can use the sliders themselves. You don't have to use both because they both control the same thing. Let me explain further. So by moving or dragging left or right, 
this is how we alter the hue by moving or dragging up and down this is how we alter the saturation and then lastly this section right here on the right hand side is how we alter the luminance to go down is to darken and to go up is to lighten the luminance and if you prefer keyboard shortcuts definitely remember or keep in mind this information for the hue keyboard shortcut another option is to hold down command or control if you're on windows key to keep the adjustment only affecting the hue when i drag left and right the saturation keyboard shortcut is when you hold down the shift key while dragging up and down and that will only affect the saturation let's do a quick before and after and there we have it big changes now let's put all this together into practice with our next photo example so we have our second image here so first what we're going to do is come over here and grab our sample spot color tool and then we're going to click on an area within our image that we would like to sample now for this particular photo uh, i immediately was thinking about sampling um, her top so the second thing that we're going to do is we are going to drag our range slider all the way to zero because we are going to reduce the uh, range of colors and next we're going to turn on the visualize range checkbox so that we're able to then see what colors are currently being targeted so once we see what colors are targeted and what which colors are desaturated we need to reduce the range of colors by using the hue range uh, markers on the hue range slider and we need to adjust those until we only have selected what we would like to change as far as the color so now once we have adjusted this where we are only adjusting her top at first now when i did select her top i did get a little bit of the confetti like some of those little specks that i guess also had like a reddish or pinkish hue which if i only wanted the shirt i could adjust more to only get the shirt but because i didn't mind changing that little spec those little specks of confetti i just sort of left it there because i kind of didn't care about those right now and I, I i will definitely be changing those along with the shirt which so it will change those colors as well but if you don't want to do that you can adjust it more until you're only selecting literally the shirt so now i'm going to turn off the visualize range checkbox and at this point i can now use my hue shift saturation shift and luminance luminance shift sliders to adjust the color of her shirt uh to my liking do a quick before and after and in order to do a before and after we just select this eye icon and we just hold it to toggle toggle between before and after So just to recap how to use point color and also the keyboard shortcuts for doing so and some tips some helpful tips i typed up everything that i pretty much went over within this tutorial and you can you can pause the video and literally screenshot or jot this down on a notepad if you are trying to learn how to use it yourself if you're anything like me i like to take notes when i'm learning a new topic or something new and that way you can go back to this until you commit it to memory and are able to use point color like the back of your hand. If you got any value out of this tutorial, I would really appreciate if you liked and subscribed for more. If you liked more my, to view more of my content, don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss out on any, on any notifications in the future when a future video comes out. All right, guys. So I will catch you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.